From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back and welcome to the weekend. It's going to be a breezy and warm weekend, feeling a little bit more tropical with more clouds, gusty southerly winds, and that humidity on the way up. But it should stay dry this weekend. Changes, though, on the way for next week. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. First off, though, as we take a look at the big pattern across the lower 48 over the last 24 hours, we got one storm system moving through the nation's midsection, producing snow up in the Dakotas and eventually off to the east. That storm system will keep it breezy here locally, but bypassing us off to the north. Then another strong storm system here in the Pacific Northwest. That eventually will send a batch of energy into the nation's midsection. Rain and storms likely. Monday into the high plains, then Tuesday mid plains, and then eventually getting closer to us for next Wednesday and Thursday. Meanwhile, generally fair skies across the region, but breezy southerly winds are going to keep us much milder overnight tonight, and we see that in our future cast through tomorrow morning. Some clouds first thing in the morning, and then a mixture of clouds and sun in the afternoon, but overall we'll call it partly sunny skies. It's going to be a breezy day for sure, with temperatures topping out upper 70s to near 80. You can see that one one storm system bypassing us off to the north. We go into Sunday, more clouds in the morning, but a few intervals of sunshine in the afternoon. It won't be quite as breezy because the pressure gradient won't be quite as tight. The breezes will be developing back to the west and they'll be spreading back to the east as we go into Monday. As yet, the next storm system slowly takes shape and this is going to be a slower mover. So that's why we think we're going to be seeing heavy rains developing first off to our north and west and then eventually moving through our region come the middle part of of next week. In fact, here's the European model on Tuesday. Maybe a pop up shower locally will go 20% by Tuesday. Moving into Wednesday, 40%. The atmosphere getting a little bit more unstable. The threat of heavy rains uh, from northeast Texas up through Arkansas and then points to the north and east. And then uh, we get into Thursday. That's probably when we'll see our highest rain chances. We're going to go 70, 80%. Severe weather threat, yeah, perhaps, especially by this low, maybe close to us, but too early to tell how much rainfall and whether there's going to be a severe weather threat. But timing wise, it could work out nicely with breezy and cooler weather moving in for Good Friday. And then the weekend looking pretty good with lots of sunshine Saturday and then maybe some clouds for Easter Sunday and it will be warming back up. But it looks dry for this up and coming weekend after this weekend. Now, as for rainfall, as we look at the Weather Prediction Center's rainfall totals going to the end of next week, there's going to be some pretty heavy rains that fall across portions of Texas. Texas into the Red River Valley, into the Mississippi River Valley, the Sabine River, and eventually the Atchafalaya River Basin. So all the high water that is beginning to come down may stay quite elevated well into April with more heavy rains off to the north. Hopefully this will not be a trend week after week. And then we're talking higher waters down the line coming down the rivers, but that's not in the forecast quite yet. Temperature wise, low to mid 60s tonight. Tomorrow will be into the upper 70s to near 80. Should be an absolutely low lovely day with the exception of those strong wind gusts in the afternoon. Even milder tomorrow night with temperatures holding in the mid to upper 60s. And then Sunday we'll get into the lower 80s with a little bit of a heat index in the mix, but still a little bit of a breeze for Sunday afternoon. Tomorrow, though, will be the breeziest of uh, both days this weekend with winds kicking up late morning. And when we see 15 to 17 or 18 mile an hour sustained winds, that means gusts are usually about 40% higher. So that gives us gusts into the 30 to 32 mile an hour range for tomorrow afternoon. So a nice evening tonight, breezy and milder overall. I think we can get away without the AC for one more night. Tomorrow, upper 70s to near 80. Gusty southerly winds, 25 to 30, a little bit higher. And then uh, we'll be looking at partly sunny skies overall. Still a pretty nice day. More clouds, as we indicated on Sunday. Palm Sunday temperatures, lower 80s. Low to mid 80s for Monday and Tuesday. And then the rain chances on the way up for the middle part of next week. And again, hopefully we'll set up for a nice weekend that follows as well. That's it for weather. We'll be right back right after this.